Thank you, Mr. Sosa and Ms. Ni'i. Our next speaker distinguished himself by earning the class's highest grade point average and the honor of giving the valedictory address. Please help me welcome to the stage the class of 2012's top valedictorian, Alec Holler. Every engineer was once a curious child. Every scientist was once a blissful infant. Every teacher once a student. And every man was once a boy. Every child has the right to dream. That's why we preserve their innocence. Why so many of us believe that they should not be corrupted by reality. Because we were once there and desire at least a little to go back. We've grown up. We've cultivated hairs upon our shins odors to be concerned of, and an indomitable desire to become a part of something greater than ourselves. We've now found our natural direction forward and won't stop until all of it ends. However, there's, there's a world outside our own that we need to be worried about. Like how it always seems, we are lingering on the precipice of an enormous chasm of political, social, and economic upheaval. The old world has aged and passed. We've unchained the earth from its sun, college tuition is astronomical, and the scale of the world has diminished to the dimensions of a computer monitor. Every problem of the world before us will be dumped on our shoulders as we pull ourselves from this turmoil. Even though some find that our generation might not have direction, the nobility, or even the determination to be compared with the last century, it does not matter. At its core, humanity is quite resilient and moral enough to weather any disaster that we ourselves have created. And if anything, we're certainly more educated than centuries past, with literacy spreading like the plague. We need not worry about any perceived inadequacy attributed to us. Our expectations have not truly been set. Occasionally being pigeonholed as lazy shouldn't affect our resolve. The horizon is not the Earth's rim. It is our future. Okay. We've all worked hard to get here. Surviving for 17 or 18 years is something of an accomplishment. Living in a glorified paper bag for two or three of that was degrading, but we all rebounded. By learning how to sit, stand, and chew, finding our way into elementary school was inevitable. Once there, we learned how to properly sit, the throes of binary logic, and how and why we should listen, though no one really did. By the time high school found us, we developed complex skills like how to travel, dress ourselves, and we even learned what to write. The fact that any of us is here is the indication of at least one thing. We all still know how to sit. <laughs> In all sincerity, every one of us has surmounted this trial, and we all deserve equal applause and praise. We all struggled with a third of time and have temporarily subdued it. In a hundred years from now, everything we say, everything we stand for, won't really matter. It's more important what we're ready to build and whatever time left we have for everyone else.